Hello, this instructional video will cover the display and programming of the Corel PJ EZ digital controller used exclusively in the TC line of refrigeration coils by Turbocoil Refrigerated Systems. On the display will be the display cabinet temperature, as you see here in this part of the video. To adjust your set point temperature, press the set button down until the set point temp blinks. Using the up and down arrows, adjust your set point temperature to the desired set point. Once this has been decided, hold down the set button and it will be saved. Once again, the display temperature of the cabinet will be on the screen. The next setting will be your refrigeration differential, or the cut in and cut out of the compressor. To reach this menu, hold down the set point. until the P5 is displayed. Once the P5 is displayed, using the up arrow one time, go to RD or refrigeration differential. Hit the set button and the parameter screen will begin to blink. Once again, this will be your cut in, cut out variable. Using the up and down keys once again, you can set this in the tenth of a degree Once this has been achieved, again, hold down the set until the display temperature once again shows and it will also be saved. The next six points will be defrost. There are two primary defrost parameters on the TC coil. One is defrost interval, one is defrost duration. To reach these parameters, hold down the set until the P5 once again shows. Using the up key twice will put you into defrost interval. This is the amount of time in between defrost and hours. Hitting the set will bring up this menu. Set again with the up and down keys the amount of hours in between you wish the interval to be. Once this has been decided, hold down the set and the display temperature once again will be revealed and this set point will be saved. Finally, the defrost duration or the amount of time you want the unit in defrost. Holding set again until P5 comes up using the up arrow one, two, three times will put you into defrost duration or DP. Holding down the set will bring you into this menu and this will be in minutes. Using the up and down keys make this set point. When this has been decided once again hold down the set and it will also be saved and it will go into the display temperature. Final two things on this control that are useful here as you see, there is a clock next to the up arrow. This turns the unit on and off. The blower will continue to blow, but the refrigeration will stop as the solenoid now is closed. And the unit will stay in this mode until you manually turn it back on. The final feature on the lower arrow with the snowflake next to it this is manual defrost. Putting the unit in this mode will put it in a manual defrost for the amount of minutes that you had set it for in the defrost duration program. This can be useful if the unit is iced up or you need to do other things while it's de-icing. You can put it in this mode and it will automatically return to normal refrigeration after the duration process has been completed. I hope this video has helped you. If you need further assistance, please contact us. Thank you.